Well, um, I'm back, back home, um, I'm tired, <laughs> I'm so tired, uh, as soon as I, I'm done with this, I'm, I'm going to go straight to bed and, uh, what a day. <laughs> Alright, hey, um, I mean, I, I, I feel a sense of just satisfaction now, um, you know, this has been something that I've wanted to do for, for a while now, if anything, it's kind of been, I guess, um, it's been building ever since September, I guess. You know, it's been one long journey, and you know, it's it's great now. How you know, when I went when I went to Wilton Mill for that first test session, you know, I failed to get a, a license out of that, and then I come back at Bugmore, and and now here I am. You know, like. I mean, my last lap that I did was my fastest lap. I did a 47. And a 47 is a very good lap time. You know, like that, that, that proved to me, you know, just like the entire day proved to me that I can actually, like, like it, it proved to myself that I'm not just some guy who's going to be running at the back and completely off the pace. No, I can compete. Now, yeah, okay, the, the, the start, the start for my race was not very good. Uh, I dropped 20 places because, simply put, everyone was just kind of, yeah, like you're, you're, you're on the outside line, there's not much you can do. Um, and I'd rather... I'd rather drop positions than cause an accident, uh, especially, you know, yeah, that was definitely something I was concerned about um, going into kind of the race was kind of how was I going to do the, the rolling starts because I'm never good at them. So I just decided to really my my, my race was quite cautious. Um, I didn't really fight all that much like. I mean, I, I, I fought, but it wasn't, like, I, it wasn't like I was desperate. You know, if someone was, if someone went for a move, I'd let them go. You know, that kind of thing. Um, but then there was one moment where, there was one moment where um, I felt like I had a good run down the start finish straight. Uh, coming into turn one and two, of course, you know, it's a kind of, um, you know, double right-hander. So you've got one right-hander and then it kind of goes into turn two. I thought, well, maybe I could try, try go for it because I'd kind of gone for, I kind of dived up the inside of someone. I've, I, you know, I'd taken the inside on someone at the hairpin and they just kind of give me room. So I thought, well, maybe they'll they'll do it here. Unfortunately, I wasn't close enough. Uh, I didn't get alongside them enough for them to kind of back out, and they just kind of, yeah, it's one of those things where like a guy goes for a dive bomb, uh, and he gets kind of cut off. That's kind of what happened to me. Um, so that dropped me down the order a little bit, I think. Um, Actually, no, I, I think I was around 27th. I don't think my, that mistake really actually did anything. I didn't lose any places or whatever, as far as I know. I, I'm, I have to go and check that, but, like, I qualified 12th place, and that, to me, is extraordinary. You know, like, it's just a guy who... Has only been to Buckmore once. You know, has only been to Buckmore one day, and I go ahead and put myself on, you know, in twelfth. 
out of, I think, like 34 drivers. That's not bad for a kind of first timer. You know, so yeah. Um, the the main issue for me was um, the weight restriction. Basically, you need to be within a minimum weight, and I am very underweight, so I needed a lot of kind of um, lead. And basically, I spent the entirety of like everyone else's races, like my teammates' races, just kind of asking for lead. Just asking, oh, yeah, do you have any lead that we can borrow and so forth? And I was given some. Yeah, and it was a really good... It was a big concern for me that I was going to get disqualified because there's no way, even with the amount of lead that I had, it wasn't going to be enough. But I just about scraped through with... uh, Kind of... At the end of it, so... Uh, I finished at 22nd... Uh, due to penalties and exclusions and all that. So, yeah. Um, all in all, a very good day. And I just... I don't know. I just feel... Like, if this was my only shot at the UKC, if this was my only kind of race in the UKC, I'm honestly happy. I'm honestly fine with that. Yeah, I didn't win anything. Yeah, I wasn't fighting for wins. But I was able to compete in a way in which I was racing with people. I wasn't just a back marker who was just kind of lapping round and round and round in circles. You know, I was there fighting with people regardless I mean, yeah, okay, fairly low down, but still fighting. I think that's yeah. Um I think that that's just that's just made it all worthwhile to me. Uh, we'll wait and see uh, whether I get a drive at Wilton Mill, but if I don't, I don't. Um, either way, you know, I'm 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 fine. I'm fine with it. Uh, I mean, I would absolutely love to drive those carts again because I've. It does seem like I've finally actually got the hang of the Club One Hundred carts. I I just like. It's so much fun going down that downhill section. I gained so much time down that downhill section. Every time. Like, everyone was kind of gaining time. And then we go into the S's and then downhill. And I get all the time back again. You know, it was it was fantastic. Um, yeah. I, I won a race at Wilton. But, you know, ultimately... I, I'm, I'm not... I don't feel like I have anything to to really prove. I feel like I did prove it, you know, and if I had a few more races, I'd be able to be a bit more competitive. But, you know, even with this first race, it's like, yeah, I've, I've proven that I'm able to do it. So that's all I want. That's all I, I, I could ever ask for today. So, yeah. I've been up since three o'clock in the morning. Had a quote unquote sleep. Wasn't really a sleep. It wasn't a deep sleep. It was a very shallow sleep. You know, basically I was conscious. Um so yeah. So I'm I'm just gonna go to bed and <sighs> <sighs> just go to sleep. Thanks for watching, guys. And goodbye.